XRP price talk and whale movement, we got you covered. Exposing another hopium pumper loser out there? Of course I'm gonna do it. Solana's pump and dump on their USDC integration? Yeah, I told you so. And we're also gonna talk about Jerome Powell and the Fed. Expectations regarding rate hikes? Got the latest juicy details. And did you catch what the whiteboard said behind me? Expectations are key. Keep that in mind as we go through today's video. MJT on Twitter, well, X, whatever we're gonna call it, says, Klaus, loving that you're on a mission to expose all the XRP hopium junkies in the YouTube and Twitter worlds. Keep up the good work. You bet I will because expectations are key. And you're like, Klaus, what are you talking about? Look at NVIDIA right here, straight rolling. I've got the one year chart and you can see they've gone from everything from 119 to 471. Why is this important? Well, number one, it's because NVIDIA is bigger than the entire crypto market space. Don't believe me? I'll have a video linked at the end, but it's about expectations. See, they publish expectations every quarter and they meet those expectations. So the damage out there by those hopium pumpers, right? are bad. Why? Because they create such astronomically high expectations that they're not being met. So when the Torres action pumped and a bunch of you out there are like, yeah, but bro, a lot of these YouTubers said that we're going to be hitting like $10, $15 in the Torres action. And then it doesn't happen. It causes more people to sell. Why? Because expectations aren't met. NVIDIA keeps going up in price. Why? Because the expectations are not only met, they're exceeded. Want to vote on which crypto should be covered most on this channel? Well, third most, right? I'm going to have that link down below. Right now, we've got XDC in the lead with 36%. HBAR closely behind with 31%. Uh oh loser alarm going off. Crypto Geek News. Let's check it out on August 22nd. Cryptocurrencies in 2025. They're calling for Bitcoin, 942,000 ETH, 43721 and Ripple, 8033 Too bad Ripple's not a crypto. Ripple's a company, you fucking idiot. But it gets even worse. This is one of those channels, too, that talks about, oh, we're going to be building, oh, on the XRPL, we're all going to be moving this, and everything is breaking news. Everything is breaking. Breaking. Unconfirmed report sites. Insider has revealed XRP to be listed. But come on, everyone. The other problem with this is they also perpetuate the other channels. All right, and that's the big thing. This is all a big web. What about BRICS using XRP? Come on, we know that ain't gonna happen. Why would the Russians use a company from the United States to run their shit on? Jesus, everyone. But it's true, and we're gonna keep exposing them, but I need your help, so comment down below on who I should expose next. Bitcoin's in at 26,120 ETH, 1655. XRP, 515. Kind of range bound here. We're going to talk about it coming up price wise with XLM sitting at 12.1. Solana tallies 5% gains in one day after Shopify integrates Solana Pay. Do you think that Solana move held or do you think people took profits? I'll give you what? Two seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Oh, it didn't hold. Pumps and dumps. Now, not to the extreme end of a Taurus pump and dump. But the idea that the Solana Pay news couldn't even hold for a day. that Seriously, that's the market that we're playing. And again, it all has to go with expectations. Because there were a whole bunch of YouTubers out there saying that Solana now is going to move because of this integration. Oh, Solana and USDC Shopify. Oh, we're going to go to the moon. That's my thing. And the smart money out there, the smart investors, the ones that look at actual reports like ones from NVIDIA are like, God, all this crypto hype and no follow through? And seriously, like, let me know. If I'm wrong, let me know. But the reality is, is you are not seeing these companies fulfill expectations. Part of the problem is, though, is because you have expectations from morons like this saying, oh my God, we're going to get to $8,000 for Ripple. No, you mean XRP. See, that's how bad it is. They're not even accurate at this. I wonder how many of these are bots, but here's another one. See, I told you about this. I did the story the other day about Egrag Crypto. Predicts XRP to surge 28,250% following 140. Oh, come on, man. It's just, it's too much and it's damaging the industry. It's damaging the industry because people are buying into this, right? Those of you that don't know. But if you know, you're probably part of the watching crew. And if you don't know, you probably hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So we keep calling out these losers. Let's talk about XRP. Here's another problem we got. 
15 million worth of XRP move to this RIP ODL partner, ODL transaction or sell-off. It's generally known that the movement of crypto assets to exchanges increases the chance of sell-offs in the open market. A similar scenario seems to be starting to play out for XRP, the second largest cryptocurrency market yet. This move has triggered the speculation of a potential sell-off, while a second thought is considering that the exchange involved in the transaction is one of Ripple's ODL partners. On August 24th, Whale Alert, the tracker of large transactions in cryptos, reported that a whale moved 29 million XRP valued at 15 million to Bitstamp, a Ripple ODL partner. That's my point. And then when something happens, it's just speculation. This either could be a massive sell-off or it could be a, oh my gosh, we're transferring it to an ODL partner. That's the mess about this entire industry and it needs to get cleaned up. We have to get more accurate stories. We have to get more accurate, what everyone, expectations. So if a single transaction of moving 29 million XRP in the same article they're talking about, is this triggering a sell-off or is this an ODL usage? Seriously, you think we're gonna go moon with shit like that? We can't even figure out what these transactions are about. And the worst part is then you got people going and I've already seen the comments on X, all right? Going, oh bro, this is the sign that we're gonna moon. They move the money because they know something big's gonna come on. Again, the expectations are just out of line. Speaking of expectations being out of line, we look kind of range bound here since the correction on the 17th. Now, the market is gonna be moving sideways for a while until we get more what clarity from the courts along with clarity from Jerome Powell and the Fed. Now, we did not get any movement yesterday from the first day of Jackson Hole action, but we've got a speech coming up at I think it's 10 a.m. Eastern time today, so we're going to definitely be paying attention to that. But what you should pay attention to are some real stats. Look at this, and again, we're back to expectations are key. Right now, 80% of people that make money on this action are saying that Jerome Powell will not hit us with another rate hike in the next meeting with now 20% saying, yes, he's going to come at us. Why is this important? Because if we scroll down just a little bit, and as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. So Fudsters, get the fuck off my lawn. Like that little Clint Eastwood action. Got the 12 over there, and I got the 9 down there. She holds 20 plus 1, by the way. And I'm a pretty good shot, so it's a lot of chances. But a week ago, 89% of people were like, yo, we're going to pause. Now, 10% of those have eroded and gone to the no, 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 they're going to raise it. So you're seeing this change and the expectations are more realistic. It's not like you're having people out there saying, yo, he's going to hit us with a 50. No, he's not going to hit us with the 50. See, the traders in these traditional markets are not filling you up with hopium. They're not telling you, oh, you're going to see a surge of 28,250%. Like, no. They're being realistic. And that's why NVIDIA is making the moves that they are. Because every quarter they say, hey, you know what? This is our plan. This is our demand. This is how much profit we're making. This is what we're doing. And this is what we can do about it. And then the next quarter, they're like, hey, remember all those things we told you last quarter? We achieved A, B, C, D, and E. And not only did we achieve those, we now have more orders than we, we know what to do with. So we're now going to expand and hire more. Then the next quarter, they're going to be like, hey, remember how we told you we expanded and hired more and we produced more? Guess what? We did that and we did this, 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 and that. That's the clarity you need. Are you getting that from Ripple Labs? Are you getting that from any of your other favorite cryptos out there? No, you're just getting junk like, well, I mean, 29 million XRP move, but we don't know if it's indicator of a sell-off or if this is an ODL transaction. And I know what some of you are thinking, but Klaus, how do these expectations really hurt XRP price? Well, think about it. What moves the crypto market right now? It's retail money. Institutional money is staying the F away because this is just a dumpster fire right now with scams, hacks, and schemes. Venture capitalists have moved on to AI. I've done tons of stories about that. So it's retail money that's moving these markets. But if all the retail money is seeing insane expectations and then Torres action, for instance, happens and we don't even come anywhere near those expectations, then people are like, oh, well, this sucks. And then they dump and then it gets worse and then it gets worse. And we know that bots perpetuate the mess because I had exposed another story about 1,100 bots on Twitter. Sorry, X, I'm going to screw that up my whole life probably. That are all part of this whole scheme of pumping bullshit to you. What about all those YouTube content creators out there that you're commenting down below? Extra VOD, right? I've been reading your comments, all their moonshot craziness that they're calling for. 
That's creating unrealistic expectations, which damages the market because the market is fueled by retail money. And when the market see that the expectations aren't being met, it dumps even harder because so much hopium is pumped into it. That's why we do need to call these people out. So it stops creating unrealistic expectations, which hurts all of your investments. It does. Because when those expectations aren't met, it drops harder than ever. Think of those people out there with the Torres videos. Remember that? Oh my God, this is it. When the Torres action comes out, we're going to $10 at least. We're going to $100 at least. And how dejected were you? You saw how fast that sell-off was. XRP couldn't even hold 80 cents. It was like 20 minutes. Because the market's like, oh, this is all we're going to get? 80 cents on the initial hit? Fuck this. I'm out. That was because a lot of people were listening to, the, oh, we're going to get $2, $4, $10. What about 124 from Crypto Geek and all that crap? Now, if you want to learn about real numbers, real expectations, check out this video right here. It's about NVIDIA, one company being bigger than the entire crypto market because they are meeting and exceeding realistic expectations. What am I doing today? Early morning run. But you cool cats, though, are going to have a great rest of your day.